Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and who has donated to this channel. Also, thank you to everyone who has purchased a reading with me. This is for the sign of Scorpio for the month of January. It is a partnership reading. Um, partner number one is here. Partner number two is down here. You will know who is who. Um, please keep in mind these are general readings, so you know they're not going to resonate with each and every one of you. Um, I, I feel that this is a uh, third-party energy, so you know if that doesn't sound like your um, your situation, then you know you shouldn't be watching this. So let's begin. We have Lucifer uh, sitting at the bottom of the deck for partner number one here. And this, I feel, is some sort of awareness um, that comes to uh, partner number one um, with regards to a commitment. Um, <clears throat> we see uh, the Eight of Shields in the reverse. This is a card of uh, relationships and uh, romance connections. Um, when it is in the reverse, it indicates that um, that relationship is struggling. Um, there could be jealousy involved here uh, also, a lot of jealousy. Um, it can also indicate breakups. But in this case here, right now, um, this is a relationship who is struggling, and this is because of the devil. Uh, who's clarifying this card. So this is a uh, third party energy. Um, this is uh, obsessive behaviors or patterns. Um, this can represent a lot of fears uh, with regards to a commitment. But um, because of the three of swords sitting, you know, right across here, I do feel that this is third party energy. So now we have the Lady of Love, um, who is a water sign, uh, male or female, doesn't matter. Now, she's looking over here at this devil. And uh, above her, we have the Three of Swords. So um, she could be feeling heartbroken with regards to this devil energy so it's possible that she is in a relationship but desires somebody else now um, she may feel very drawn to this person okay we see judgment over here it's it's like she feels uh, it because judgment can be like a calling or feeling called to do something or to be with somebody. Um, it is also about decisions. Um, she may feel, with this Ten of Shields being here, you can clearly see this person's hands are tied. So they may, she may feel as though her hands are tied. She may feel that she cannot release this energy. This person, partner number one, um, and I say she simply because it's a woman on, on that card, but I mean it could be a man. With the Three of Wisdom in the reverse, this person is not helping themselves, okay? And whatever was hidden when this card was upright comes to light. I feel as though whatever secret this person has been keeping uh, will get exposed or, or um, a confession. Somehow it comes out. I feel it's more... It's more like an exposure. Over here we have Mimosan. And it is a card of remembrance and hidden truths. Um, transformation. It's um, a card. It can be a card of forgetfulness. Um, clearly we see we have night and we have day. Uh, so something is hidden here. Um, it can be not wanting to see it uh, or think about it. Partner number one 
is reflected here with this person who is just, it's like they have it all, but they're just not happy with their situation. This is the card of the lover. Now, I feel like this could uh, have been going on for quite some time because it sits above the master and discipline, which is a card of not speaking, keeping things inside. With the, uh, with the Inquisition sitting here, um, this is a card that would speak to secrets being revealed. It's, it's faded events. It's, it's something that is just, it's going to happen. It's like it's out of your control. It's faded events that force a truth out into into the open. Here we have the warrior, and the warrior is taking action. You see he's looking right over. Uh, oh, you can't really see it in a camera view. Here we go. You see this warrior. He's looking over here at, the, at this person who's not happy with their situation. So this warrior is going to take action on this um, this situation here that we see. So whatever has been hidden will come to light. Um, partner number two, um, we have the King of Wands here, and he is a card of, um, that would be a card also of taking action like this, because he takes actions. King of Wands is black or white. I just noticed we have the Ace of Cups here, so this has to do with uh, an emotional matter that this person has been thinking of. Okay, because we do have the hangman. So um, he is going to take action on this. Seven of swords in the reverse is getting honest, okay, um, about a relationship, obviously, because the eight of swords in the reverse is seeing things for what they are. In the upright, you can clearly see two people uh, walking away from each other. They're not talking. So um, now this person is getting honest with themselves about this relationship that they have been thinking of here with the hangman. And here we have the Seven of Cups and the Three of Swords in the reverse here. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the Seven of Cups, you can see um, that this man is fantasizing about someone here. You can see the couple. Um, this is up in his imagination. Um, he could be daydreaming about it. He, this is somebody who is tortured by his thoughts, by his fantasies. Now, with the Three of Swords being in reverse, um, this person may want to heal this relationship. But perhaps, you know, um, is tortured because things just, you know, things aren't going well here. Partner number one may not be interested. Um, it could be, again, see, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse, so um, I still feel that the, the lines of communication are closed, or you could be um, feeling upset because you're feeling unfulfilled. The Ten of Cups is in the reverse, so those cups are drained, and you're very unhappy about it. The Four of Cups, because you fantasize about this person. You want to heal it. But this, this person seems to be more interested in the devil here. So with the uh, Princess of Cups in the reverse with the Prince of Pentacles, um, news, um, you could be, partner number two could receive news that this person, um, that their cup is empty, that they are um, no longer interested.
because the Princess of Cups in the reverse is like an emotional breakup. You know, it could also be unfaithfulness. So clearly partner number two wants this relationship, is tortured by thoughts of this person here. And, and, you know, I mean, I, I could read this a different way as partner number two um, getting honest with themselves about this relationship because the partner number one has been unfaithful because obviously that's going to be revealed. And, um, and perhaps with the Queen of Swords here in reverse uh, decides to cut that person out. It can go, you know, I mean, for everybody, it's going to be different in these general readings. But clearly they are um, unhappy here, um, feeling stuck. With regards to this situation. feeling unfulfilled in this relationship but yet you know it's like all that it's like all they can do is think about this person and think about you know coming together but in the same breath this person is not blind because they're starting to understand to see why there's been um, lack of communication um, why there's been this distance. So that is what I have for you. And um, I thank you so much for watching. Many blessings. Bye for now.